Hey everybody, it's Dipio. Welcome back to Dishonored. We are in the sewers. We have got to make our way, complete our prison escape. We're out of the prison per se. But we're not safe yet. You're absolutely right. I do not care about a few guards. Note from a friend. Corvo, if you're reading this, it means our plan worked and you've broken free from Cold Ridge. One of our contacts was hidden, has hidden weapons for you somewhere deep in the sewers. Grab the gear and find Samuel where these tunnels dump out into the river. He'll bring you to us. A friend who will meet you soon. I already have weapons. Somebody's been down here. Bottle Street gang, maybe. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down here by the look of it. Good. Okay. We're lucky. One of them will get Corvo. You're afraid of him? He's Sir Conan. It's all merchants and whores down there. Kids like you. You never saw what he was like. I saw him fight three to one in the practice yard. He's a whirlwind. I hope it's me that finds him. I hope it is too. Am I not in stealth mode? I don't think I have a choice but to be in stealth mode. I'm in. Oh! That's the stay out of the rats portion of the game. Because they will eat you down to being a beef jerky puppet in seconds. So. No rats at no time. Ooh. The skull. Rats are eating our babies. No one will keep us from death. Well, yeah, I guess, you know. Are they coming at me? I guess get out of here while they're busy eating. Oh, uh, swimming in the sewer. Look at the clear, clear, disgusting water. You can see it with your eyes open in the dark. Alright. I don't want to mess with any more rats. It'll give them something to eat before they get to me. Do we have any rats down here? This sure looks like a place where rats would be. But I don't see anything yet. Uh, all food. And food is like automatic health regen. So like, there's literally no point in eating it if I'm not already hurting. Oh, there's some rats. Okay, so I need to get to the wheel. So I need this guy to be a distraction over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, and no more rats. Attention, Dunwall citizens. That's a really twisted uh, mechanic. For the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Several brave officers of the state are dead by his hand. He is to be captured or killed at any cost. Did I just get hurt on the grill? Okay, well, I'll eat the rat skewer to fix it. Although, eating diseased rats seems like a bad idea. Okay, let's climb. That's disorienting, I must admit. Copper wire. So what does copper wire... It's been long enough that I played that I don't honestly know what some of this stuff does. Oh, there's a trap. I don't want to trigger it. Can I disarm it? No. 
Um, what about if I do, come on, this. No, that didn't work. Um, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. We want to go down there, obviously, because there's something back there. Uh, that wasn't the plan. Can we do the same thing for this one? What is the what is the trigger is the thing I'm wondering though. Or not what is the trigger, what is the uh, trigger attached to? Oh, it's attached to that thing. Okay, so if I'm over here, it's probably not a problem. Aiming is not so much a thing I can do here. There we go. That worked. Missile launcher. I'll take it. Another skull. Alright, let's try this again. We'll just have to aim slightly better than last time. There we go. That's a nice, that's a nice mechanic there. But look, I could have gotten up to this one already. Yeah. So I could have probably looted it or disabled it without having to do that. Oh, I could have gotten around this one too. I chose to trigger them, but there was another way around. Oh, that's cool. This is no good. I need to be back towards the stairs. I like the climbing mechanic. It's really forgiving. To the Lord Protector, greetings Corvo, or should I say Lord Protector, as you were known before that title was wrongfully taken from you. We are the servants of the Empire and of the true Empress. A group of loyalists who want very much to meet you. Take these weapons, crafted for you of the finest materials in the Isles, and meet with our man Samuel near these tunnels, where these tunnels spill into Renhaven River. All haste and luck. We share a common purpose. Ooh. That's right. I get a crossbow. There we go. Okay, quick wheel tutorial. L1 is the quick wheel selector, and then I can hotkey a few things at the bottom too. Okay, okay, very cool. What is this hemlock essence? Oh, those things are just worth coin. It converted the coin in my in my pocket. I got gotcha. you. What is this? No idea. To slide while sprinting. Oh, that's pretty cool. Jelly share. Jelly, in case you're too daft to remember, look to your whiskey for the answer. Whiskey, got it? If you want your share, you'll sort it out. If not, I'll come back for it next month. Combination required. So we gotta look to his whiskey. And look, can we disarm this thing? Disarm and loot. Sweet! Alright. So look to the whiskey. Oh, nice. To find a combination for this. Uh, question is, what does that mean? Should it be back a step? That doesn't show me anything. Look at the feet sticking out of the thing. 
Gross. Look to your whiskey. This is like a trap here. For rent. Dunwall Market. Maybe it's ahead. Maybe I have to backtrack for it. I don't want to be like too all over the place here. He won't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take him out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Empty bottle. Smells like a dead weeper in here. A dead what? Okay, so, um... We don't want to go down yet if we want that treasure. Because I don't think I'm getting back up from there. Oh, I can, I can manually do the combination. Um, is the whiskey telling me anything here? Whiskey. Oh, look at that. Four, five, one. Automatic. Health. Jewelry box, and that's it. Okay. Little coin. Again, I don't remember what the coin's for. Probably is. They come here to die sometimes in the dark. Just slip into the water, don't come out. Who are you talking to? The high stealth drop. But I've also got my crossbow now. Huh? What? <laughs> got his legs. I'll find you. Okay, we're gonna put some of that food to use. We are gonna put some of that food to use. I can heal if I want to. I'm gonna hold off for just a minute. See what else we can find over here. Copper wire. Okay, so drinking doesn't actually do anything for me. Finding plenty of health elixirs, that's good. Made it out. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Several brave officers of the state are dead by his hand. He is to be captured or killed at any cost. Corvo, over here. Quickly, I'm Samuel. a friend. I'm Samuel. And I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. They said you'd come out here. I could still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. 
just down the river from here. All right, let's go. So I got to practice with my crossbow. I don't know if it's a lethal shot uh, just by virtue of hitting them or if I have to hit them in particular places. But let's see. Uh, a lot of hostiles killed, no civilians, uh, no alarms rung. Lots of dead unconscious bodies found. High chaos. Yeah. And open jelly safe. So, let's see. Runes found. Zero, 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 zero. Seven hundred and eleven out of a thousand. Um, so we didn't we didn't thieve as much as we probably could have. But that's okay. Again, I don't even remember what the money's for. I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. Now, do I get the uh, cutscene heal? We'll find out here in a minute. So, Sammy, how's this? This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. Okay. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. That's, uh... Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. That sounded funny, that missing girl lady. No, no cutscene here. So I gotta be more careful. Do I have a way of seeing, like, my inventory? Not in here. Um, what are those? Sleep darts? <laughs> Sleep darts. Okay, I got nine healing things. Okay. Crossbow incendiary bolts. I like that. Pistol bullets. If I put that, it switches to the gun. Oh, that's cool. The crossbow is if I really truly want to go in full silent. Although with incendiary bolts, that leads to some interesting applications that I didn't get to use last time. Last time it was seriously sleep darts and uh, chokeholds. That's it. That's the only thing I could do. And staying out of sight, which takes a long time. What's this? I got a map. Oh, is that just money? Oh, more money. All right, Mysteries of Pandicia, excerpt from a book on the far continent, Pandicia. At the Academy of Natural Philosophy, they speak of the Pandician continent as a place of wonder, where all of life is entwined and blossomed across eons, producing a vibrant ecology unrivaled in the civilized world. The overseers from the Abbey of the Everyman, by contrast, talk of horror and heresies, of cults of submen engaged in brutal, perverse rituals. The few who have traveled to the far continent and come back to the isles, those who have actually touched the soil there, have returned with notes that describe the vast deserts, deep jungles, and outlandish creatures that defy belief. Once in a generation, a great effort is mounted to build a colony there in hopes of this someday growing into a port city to rival Dunwall itself. But to date, these attempts have all ended in madness and failure. That sounds like that should be an expansion. The Isles of Pandicia. Sounds like a World of Warcraft expansion. I expect right, they're hard at work in there. Best join them. Okay. They'll help you get whoever really so killed the Empress. He found our man. If we can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans. But we can't do any of it without you. 
We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. The citizenry of Dunwall, um... They're an ugly bunch. There's not really a nicer Good way to, to put it. With us, this is an, an inbred bunch of people. They've got some serious... Did you talk to Piero yet? He made the weapons we left for you on your way out of Coleridge Prison. Go see him okay. when I, I will, I will. Something happened to open the door for me. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. Sounds like Brad Dorff. No! This cannot happen now the tank of whale oil's run out. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. Oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. Okay, well, we got some stuff to read here. What is that? That's a whale oil tank. Oh, we got stuff to listen to, stuff to read. All right. Whale vivisection. Excerpt from the notes of a natural philosopher aboard a whaling ship. Remarkably, each specimen I had the pleasure of studying during the voyage possessed some minor variance in physiology. On the second leg of the trip, east of Tyvea, the, crip haul, the, crew, the, crip, the crew hauled aboard a female, some 42 feet in length. I estimate she weighed 35 tons, and the ship sat low, rocking side to side through the night with her thrashing. By candlelight, I took her apart, sketching and taking notes. Against her bellowing, I cut into the mass of tentacles around tentacles around her mouth within I found row upon row of teeth and a baleen running along the upper jaw through this broom like structure I assume she filtered food from the water that was too small to be chewed tentacles dead counter responsibilities excerpt from a manual on new city watch procedures Commissioned by the Lord Regent in the face of the growing plague crisis, the dead counter is a position that will only be given to officers, usually of junior or middle grades. In most matters of edict or curfew enforcement, these officers will defer to the acting officer on duty. However, any dead counter will have command in situations related to the plague and handling of the dead, including those with late-stage plague symptoms, called weepers in common parlance. Study in the month of rain, interested officers, uh, starting in the month of rain, interested officers may apply for the test and, if accepted, for the two-week training tour. Pay will be administered in coin and rations of elixir at one and one-half normal pay grade. So it's basically just overtime. Failed experiment. Man, there's a lot to read in here. All right, excerpts from a series of lectures on natural philosophy by Piero Joplin. Oh, his, his own book. Of course I have attempted to improve upon Sokolov's designs. Of course, and why not? After all, it is likely that his thinking was influenced in some small way by our time together at the Academy. We are all part of a community, striving to unknot the mysteries of the cosmos. Even those among us who possess the greatest minds are often led to a fruitful line of consideration by, how does one say it, our intellectual subordinates. Sokolov is no exception to this despite the glamour of genius he has cast over the aristocracy. And further, it is true that many of my experiments have failed. No need to gossip about it behind my back in your social clubs and in the very chambers of the academy itself. Great ambition requires risks. You may laugh now at my door to nowhere, but someday you will not. Your children will likely see it as commonly as you see the electric lamps lighting our streets at night. But a few short years ago, you would have laughed at Sokolov's arc pylon or wall of light. Your laughter, your condescending smiles, they are nothing but evidence of your own limited imagination. Whale Oil Refilling Station Sokolov no longer has the upper hand with regard to supplies of whale oil. The good admiral has paid for the installation of my own system, which will enable me to work in this place. 
The oil tank dispenser, when activated, will produce an empty vessel for filling. When the empty tank is held near the oil tank refill pump, the magnetic attractor should take the tank and lock it in the correct configuration. Using the lever will begin the refill process. Once refilling is complete, the tank can be removed and placed in service. Extreme caution must be used in handling the full tanks. They are quite unstable. The system is sound and well engineered. It appears that the Greaves Oil Company has done something correctly, for once. Whale Oil Processing, excerpt from the founder of the Greaves Whale House by Ebenezer Greaves. Out at sea, they secure the beast with hooks, with lines cast from the main ship and from several smaller boats. Buoys keep the whale from diving deep. Once it's caught, a larger hook is driven through the tail, which is used to hoist the creature up through the chute. They moan and bellow for some time as the men get them onto the deck, then lift them into the scaffolding overhead. The ship adjusts its prow and returns to port in Dunwall, where the crew works on the great creature, slicing off the fattiest parts while it still lives. Why is everything got to be done while it's alive? The Academy teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high-energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances develop. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities, subject and the necessary legal amnesty. Oh, he's a mad scientist. What a shocker. Perfect. Now plug it in. Just a second. A second solution. Excerpt from a series of newspaper articles from prominent natural philosophers by Piero Joplin. It is through no fault of my own that the average citizen has expressed a preference for Sokolov's elixir over my own formula, sold as Piero's remedy, a name I did not choose if you must know the truth. The public has spoken its usual message of idiocy to spending their coin as a means of selecting Sokolov's formula over mine, which I believe to be equal if not superior. Much has been made over the popularity of these concoctions as a means of resisting this remarkable new plague. I say remarkable because this strain works with an efficiency we have not seen in the history of any empire. This plague now making its way through the city of Dunwall is unrivaled in its effectiveness. I've studied it within the blood of those so afflicted, and it is nearly perfect. Elegant, in fact. And while it's true that Piero's remedy and Sokolov's elixir are known to protect the body against the plague equally, my own has properties, not fully understood, which relate to the mind itself and the spirit. And in this way, it is that my formula wins out. Here is where one should pay attention to this contest. For you see, Sokolov's elixir, with its emphasis on the brute animal body, is a crass goo better suited for livestock. The subtle and secret variants in the key ingredients making up Piero's remedy ensure that it works on the higher functions that separate humankind from the mindless blue-jawed hagfish swimming in the Renhaven River. Just so this guy is clearly, magnetism will do the rest. clearly got some issues, inferiority issues with Sokolov. Piero's request is denied. Piero, no, I will not sign off on these purchases. A bag of powdered crystal, Tivian ore, what's wrong with the metals in crystal? King sparrow feathers, if you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. Maybe at the academy everything you needed was paid for by tariff and handed out willy nilly, but this is my bar, or what's left of it, and we're operating on a budget. We're running low on oil, food, elixir, building materials, and everything else, so you've got to slow down. While I'm footing the bill, I will not approve your purchases unless they're absolutely required. No more copper wire or special herbs. If you need those things, go out and scavenge them. Half the city is in ruin, so no one is going to miss any of the odd crap you seem to need. <laughs> Admiral Havelock. So we're grabbing copper wire and stuff, but we're not keeping it as copper wire, so... Uh, star chart. That's worth some money. A vice. That's just for fun, I guess. And I saw a book down here, yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Sokolov Technology in the New Age. 
excerpt from a recent book detailing Sokolov's machines. One of the advantages of Sokolov's technologies is that they share the same magnetic socket for the tanks of processed whale oil that they use as fuel. When a tank is exhausted, another can be plugged into its place with ease, and the process is simple enough that any common workman or even the lower guardsman of the city can handle the task. This applies to the arc pylon and wall of light security systems, as well as the powered carriages used for transport by those few who are wealthy enough to afford them. The only obvious downside of Sokolov's design is that the volatility of the tanks themselves. A few incidents have occurred resulting in damage to property or bodily harm whenever one of the tanks is exploded. Alright. Ooh, another vice. Ah, I'm, I'm a slave to my vices. And I got my nose to the grindstone. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? No. The lens out of alignment. There. Better now? No. I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Ah, here, oh, it's Piero that I spend the money with. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's check out upgrades. Um, spring razors, bone charms, grenades. Oh, I didn't get to use any of this stuff before. Um, mass optics, magnify your view. Bullet capacity, I have what, 900 coins? Sword crossing, swords more effective when locking blades and pushing against enemies. Spring razor radius, Corvo's pistol upgrade, a short range spread damage. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here to consider. And then, of course, these rewire tools rewire circuitry and turn security systems to your advantage. Uh, spring razor traps. Oh, this is going to be fun. I didn't get to. I got, again, sleep bolts. That's it. <laughs> That's all I got to play with <laughs> in my last go through. There's going to be a lot of stuff here. Um, how many of these can I carry? Spring Razor Trap can be attached to any surface by aiming at it and pressing L2. It will be triggered as an enemy approaches, throwing up a cloud of shrapnel and uh, pretty heavily dismembering somebody, it looks like. Um, so let's. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Okay. Um, look around a little bit before I bed down. Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more. Okay. Yeah, I just want to see something here. Um, Pierre can craft upgrades with the money you collect. So yeah, all that stuff I pick up turns to money, goes right back to him. Um, spring razors. It doesn't look like it shows a maximum. So I can probably pick up as many as I want. As many as I can afford, so that's interesting. Okay. Well, let's go talk to Dingleberry again. Come here, Piero. No, I don't want to kill you, I want to talk to you. Tell me what I can make for you. Let's focus on maybe some of those upgrades. Um, mask optics seems like it might be a good. Oh, there is a capacity. Oh, there we go. Total 9. Total 20. Total 20. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's do some equipment upgrades. Let's do the mask optics too. That could probably be useful. 
Um, I'm down to 320 coins. Crossbow accuracy lowers dispersion and stabilizes crossbow aim. That's probably good. But bolt capacity is good too. Alright. That's a good start. Now I need to sleep, right? Where will that be? Ooh. Piero's door to nowhere. The door to nowhere has proven to be a safety hazard. But for me, this project is an endless source of inspiration. With the proper application of energies, I believe I can transform the door frame into a window of sorts. One that will allow a traveler to cover the distance from my workshop to some distant, arbitrary point into a single step. Currently, the step leads to a sheer drop straight down the, into the courtyard. But in time, it will bridge the caps that will boggle the mind. Such work is many years away, to be sure. But if I survive this plague, I'm sure to succeed. Okay, Piero. Dude. You could build that on the ground so that you didn't have to fall to your death if it didn't work. You know that, right? Like, it's not necessary to build it that high? Alright, Corvo's bed. Let's go ahead and get some rest, shall we? Is the man dangerous? Yes, very much so, but no need to fear. He is here to work with our masters. People say he killed the Empress. Of course he didn't. People are no, foolish I didn't. and believe whatever they're told. Okay. If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I. The Admiral served in the Navy under the Empress. But something happened with the Lord Regent that drove the Admiral out. If I understand it right. Yeah, you're just like talking about me. I'm right there. Let's rob from our place of business so that we can invest that money back in our place of business. I'm going to eat your apple tart. I'm going to steal your powdered crystal. I'm going to play your audiograph My player, Lord Pendleton. My installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Speaking of which... Wallace! Please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean glass. Well, I'll begin again tomorrow. Yeah, it's always the rich who suffer the most. It's a crying shame it is. Processed whale oil. A Gaffer's Tale, Volume 1, excerpt from the travel journal of a young whaler. A Gaffer's Tale, Volume 1, or A Gaffer's Early Adventures. My sister Nina and I left Tivia together, saying goodbye to our aunt, the woman who had raised us since childhood, leaving behind our home city of Yarrow and the cold but beautiful white landscapes we had always known. We boarded a ship for Dunwall. Our parents had left us with a sizable inheritance, and we spent half of this getting to the capital city and establishing a small import shop dedicated to Tivian furs. Once I'd helped Nina establish the business, I was free to pursue my dream. Signing on with a whaling ship was the most exciting thing I'd ever done and I saw it as a means to an end. Someday I would captain my own crew, and eventually a fleet of similar vessels. With tears in her eyes, Nina kissed me farewell, and I did not see her again for many months. As an apprentice to the gaffer, I got to see the tracking and killing of the great beasts up close. Nothing had ever fired my spirit so, as the wind and pounding waves racing after a wounded whale, being pulled off by a skein of cables embedded in its thick flesh. I changed in more, uh, more in those first seven months than I had in the previous seven years. Whaling was beginning to put its mark on me so that Nina barely recognized me when I returned. Tanned and sinewy with muscle, weather creased already wrinkling the corners of my eyes, but she could see that it was filled with joy, having found my purpose. My purpose, killing animals. Admiralty and the Fleet, excerpt from a book on naval history. While each of the Isles has some form of naval fleet, none is more envied than that of Gristol, with its long, proud history of great ships and the admirals who command them. Boys come of age in the cities of Gristol, hoping to someday captain such a ship, and family dynasties are made by those captains who track down infamous pirates or crush seditious uprisings as the, during the Morley insurrection. In times of war and peace, Gristol continues to innovate at sea. 
The ship designs of Anton Sokolov himself now represent the highest standard in the whaling trade, allowing crews to haul their kill up over the deck and begin their butchery and processing even as the ship returns to Dunwall. The crews can be seen working on their latest whale as the ship moves slowly down the Rinhaven River, coming to dock with one of the powerful warehouse companies such as the Greaves Whaling House. Suspended in the rigging overhead and backlit by the setting sun, the silhouette of one of these creatures makes a moving sight as it cruises to final resting place in the industrial heart of the capital city. There's so much to read, my goodness. Havelock Log Entry 1. It has been days since our men were dispatched to stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They have not returned, so I can only hope that they succeeded in getting the packages delivered. Piero sent considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass produce them, the Dunwall Navy would secure its place as the dominant force on the globe. But back to Corvo. Can he actually break out of Coldridge? And if so, will he make his way here? I personally give him odds of 1 in 5. Log entry 1-4. It seems we've moved to a new phase. Martin's improvisations have borne fruit. And the former bodyguard has been freed and is en route to the staging location. Pendleton's voting block and my military connections. All we've lacked is the ability to project lethal force in a controlled manner against a previously inaccessible... Ah, to the point. We need a man who can kill the bastards for us. Corvo is more than capable of that, I have no doubt. End ball. That's my job. Switch. Switch, where the hell is that? Alright, A Gaffer's Tale Volume 2 or a gaffer's final passage. After more than a quarter of a century, I am done with whaling, too broken to continue. I've seen all the corners of the aisles and made more coin than most men see in a lifetime, but it's all gone. I've lived through an emperor and watched his daughter take the throne. Fair young empress she was, but slain so young. Everything beautiful comes to die. I've eaten in every port of the known world and sailed in the loneliest waters you could imagine. I've seen the cliffs around Pandicia. Even the best of it doesn't give me an ounce of joy. The years come back across my dreams as a line of butchered bodies, long, sleek, and singing among the waves and the moonlight, under the moonlight, only to be speared by ugly, weather-scarred men who'd knife each other for a good pair of boots. Each year I had less time to come home. My tongue forgot the language of small chatter, and those who lived in the cities thought me odd. My sister Nina hardly knew what to say during our visits. When she lost her business to the Lord Regent's crooked barrister, I was a hundred miles east of Morley, gaff hand frozen from the sleet as we tracked the first bull whale we'd seen in months. I helped her as much as I could, but Nina died in the early days of the plague. None of it mattered. If I'm jaded and bitter, it's because this interest industry has taken away my dreams. The world has beaten me. Alright, one more to check. My goodness. Hello, maid. What else do we got in here? Ways around, out back. A bathroom. Okay, you know what? We've got so much uh, reading done, and I want to start off a little bit with that next time. So we're going to pick up here. And I will continue uh, through the house before we get to our rest. Do not um, attempt to house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs actually, of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Yeah, the flooded district for treatment. That sounds right. Okay, back outside here. Okay, so we will we will pick up in here next time. We'll continue reading our books um, and then make our way up for rest and see what the next day holds. But uh, you're probably tired of hearing my voice right now. I'm a little tired of hearing it myself. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you come back. It'll be a little more exciting as we get along here. We're kind of in the early stages of world building. But uh, we'll get through it and we'll get back to stabbing guys in the neck. All right. Hope to see you next time. But until then, take care of yourselves.